We are going to create a movie app that parses JSON from Movies API and display the results into a professional app like this. So we will upgrade the previously created app of the last video. Hello, my friends, and welcome to Master Coding Channel. If you want to learn coding and start your programming career, you came to the right place. Hit subscribe and like below so you help us making new tutorials. Let's begin. This is our site that we are going to make the API calls from it. So DMDB, the movie DB, we scroll down through the API. So this is the API overview. And these are, uh, if you want to, to read more about the API examples, and we go to through generals and API seasons. Now let's go to the authentication loading uh, apis now this is the important thing that we are going to get these are the api calls the get the post the delete and we select the get started and we go through we can see the screenshots here for the examples okay and this is the API. Now let's register and sign up in this uh, website. So in order to use the uh, API, we need to register. Okay. Now I am registering. We go to the API and we select in the API seasons and the offic official API documentations. Okay. Or you can access it developers.themoviedb.org slash three slash get started introduction now we click on you can see these are the, uh, the these are the steps you can do it but till now i will go to the this settings these are the steps we go to settings okay and here we go we save and we select uh, uh, the API in the left side bar and we generate on a new API and we select developer. Okay, it's very easy guys to, uh, to register in this site and get the, uh, the uh, key for using the API. Now, let's, let's add a new API, the application name MovieDB, the application URL, uh, we don't have but the, uh, we select type of use a mobile application or you can use uh, personal now an app that shows the best movies uh, first name master last name coding and here we go i will uh, i will complete this now wearing obama montgomery and Dothan, maybe I'm go typing them. You can type uh, whatever you want, and I will uh, uh, complete them now. We go to this section after completing the registration and the API registration. We go to developers.themovie.org, the moviedb.org, and these are our API key the example API requests and the read access token. For now, we are going to use in this video, the API key and the requests for executing the APIs. Okay. Do you remember this site? This is the postman.com that we uh, have used before. Uh, uh, and we are going to get the request. I signed up. I, I logged in into my account and I try to get the request. But what is the error? We will see later on. Okay. So this is our, uh, this is the API and we pasted it, uh, it the same. I have missed the key. So uh, I tried before. These are the JSON data that we are going to get. So remember guys, this is a very important step 
to understand what uh, JSON requests are getting and how to um, uh, to configure it or how to understand it. So what we are doing here is make getting the API key and getting uh, through the API documents and to get the latest documentation that we have. So we have registered in this side, we get the keys, we go to Postman to test them. And now let's test other, uh, other uh, links or queries that we are going to create. So we see that it, this is the get top rated movies on TB, TMDB, and we have these uh, query strings. It is required the API key. And this is the rib results as an object page result. It's an array. And these are the type of the data that you get from the request. So it's very important to understand every API in the, uh, on the web, how it works and how the documentation uh, tells you the steps uh, to use it. So this, I will copy the example API request. Okay. And I will go to test it into the postman. I get the, this, this result and I will add here since the documentation told me that uh, movie slash top rated, I will uh, try it movie top rated and I will send, okay, this is the request. It's working fine. So guys, we are working to, uh, to get these results this movies this is one movie two movie second movie the third movie and so on so this is the request that we have get these are the requests that we have uh, get uh, from uh, the top rated movie now let's try another uh, request so in the same way that we have created this request and tested we are going to test the uh, popular uh, movies so top rated this is will give you uh, the the results and the uh, popular movies will give you another one so we go to the popular we copy the popular and we paste it uh, before but after a movie and we get another request so in this way we have understand that the api of the tm uh, uh, DB, how it works. Just to remember you guys that these are these XD files are available to download with the source code available in the resources on Udemy. So uh, if you want these uh, XD files, you can get them. Uh, these are, uh, I will provide them with the course on Udemy. Feel free to download them uh, from resources. Now, we are going to get the response that we have uh, seen in the postman.com into Android Studio. We opened the previously created uh, movie JSON application. This is the, previ the previous application that we have created. Now, we were taking the, the URL or getting the JSON from run.moki.io. Let's go and build a professional app that in the in the in the UI in the material design that we use we use and into the JSON complexity that we are going to parse. So remember, guys, we are not making a simple app. It's very complicated app and it's very awesome app. If you understand it, it will be easy also. Now. We see here that the variables and the responses that we have and we get are displayed here. So we copy the link that we have tested. We remember, we have tested the most popular movies that we are going to parse. So I will remove this. No longer we need it. And I will copy it into here. Okay, and I will change this link for the popular movies. Okay, so 
Now, if you understand well, uh, Jason, you are going to change some variables uh, from the given uh, data. So let's go back to the postman. We see and we notice that the objects that are repeating each others in the same way uh, have a results as a name of its array. So I'm going to change the JSON array to uh, results. And we need to parse the title of the movie, the vote average, and the link for its image. So I will change the name to title because we uh, the JSON that we have, we are going to parse having title, data, and vote average to ID. And I will change the image to uh, the, the poster. Okay, the poster path. This is the pa poster path. Okay, this is well-designed uh, JSON that we have uh, parsed and we are going to get. Let's try and see. Okay. Okay, very good guys. We are getting the names and the ratings. Maybe the image are not displayed because uh, we have uh, we have uh, a lot of images for that. I am going to use the Glide library. Uh, you remember the Glide driver, driver, library? So I will check it. Uh, okay using the glide library but before i'm using the glide library before but it is not a problem we are going to get the link of the image so the link of the image is not given directly if we go to the postman it, it we will see that the results are not uh, taken as a poster pass does not have a complete url so this is the name of the image but it is not the real link. So if I put it into the browser, it will give me an error. Okay, so I need to get the link of the general, uh, the, the link of general images where they are stored. For that, I'm going to uh, go back to the API uh, documentation. So this is an example. I need to get the URL, as I told you, the general URL for the uh, the movie the uh, db.org put here the general link general link for the directory uh, where the images are stored inside this website so going to the uh, documentations i have seen this uh, images and the getting started on the left side panel and we see that we have three uh, versions. The original, if I click on this, we have also SVG and we have the 500 W500. I'm getting the W500. Now let's see our image. Copy. If it will give me Enola, it will working. So copy in all the homes. Okay, it's very very good, guys. We have gotten the general directory for the image. So I'm co going to copy the general directory, and I'm going to paste it in into the load method of Glide that going to execute every time the link, uh, the general link plus the image of the movie that we have parsed so let's try again and let's see how it will it will works okay it's working perfectly guys this is the, the the real the real feeling of making a professional application and making codes that works guys this is the feeling of make a be professional so uh, amazing I, I am very happy with myself and you should uh, also be professional and be motivated to make new apps and love yourself making, when making apps. 
So let's move to the designing step. In order to make our application looks professional, we need a user interface that, that looks professional. So despite of having a complex UX that your app will do many things, if you don't have a user interface that attracts the user, you are, ha you are losing many and many users uh, according to our uh, experience. So these, are, these XD files are are available to download into the resources into uh, of Udemy course. So go back uh, or hit uh, uh, below the resources into the Udemy so you get them all. Now let's go into activity main and drag and drop an image view. This image view I will call it till now I will give it uh, an avatars avatars or like this I will remove this having many spaces it's not good I'm giving avatars I will uh, now uh, add it its constraints and add a an image into the uh, drawables it's called header this header having uh, the image of uh, John Wick this is uh, the John Wick uh, chapter 3 the, the movie it looks uh, nice I will adjust it uh, into Photoshop because it's not uh, making a, a, like a header or it's not uh, seeing like a header I will clarify it and adjust it and then paste it into the drawable folders okay let's uh, add the constraint to it um, zero okay uh, here it is uh, big because it's having a curved uh, recycler view but I'm not going to design a curved recycler view so I adjust it into the Photoshop I, uh, you can uh, get uh, them all into the description below so the image uh, view here this is the image view and I will make the layout height looks like this okay and let's see the designs I give uh, especially uh, the UI the user interface design a big part of my time when when coding and designing uh, our my apps uh, because it's very important uh, to to allow to attract the users into your app through a very uh, uh, eye-catching uh, images, uh, eye-catching designs, eye-catching icons, eye-catching uh, uh, user interface in general. So it's very important to learn it and be uh, practice practice more and more into the user interface. Now let's display the image into uh, maybe I have uh, missed it into main activity, main image view here, image view or uh, header, I call it header and header equal find view by ID, it's the image view and I will use the glide library in order to display it, glide dot with this, the context, passing or load method method r dot drawable dot header and into header. Let's run our application and uh, let's see if it is uh, good. Okay, it's uh, very good, guys. It's making uh, a, a reaction and attraction for our uh, application. It's very good now let's design the cards let's design the card item layouts so I will open the movie it underscore item XML and I will remove that the texts and the images and I create a new text and the images with different properties so Android layout underscore with zero and height the wrap content I will give it an ID the same as before 
the name underscore text, giving the layout margin start to dp and margin left to dp. It's good to uh, practice the XML uh, coding, but we prefer the the drag and drop uh, coding. That this is very important. Uh, uh, specification that the Android Studio has uh, different from uh, other IDEs but till now it's good uh, to practice XML and it's uh, uh, sometimes you need XML because you cannot uh, make everything with drag and dropping or the user uh, uh, friendly uh, interface that Android Studio provide it okay these are the Layout margin top for dp margin and to dp right to dp font family sans serif black and text color it's uh, white and uh, text size 12 dp, 12 sp constraint and start to start off start to start off and top to bottom off okay I will create an image view of id image view in order to remove this uh, error la uh, red line okay so i hope you practice guys because practicing is the key of making uh, professional applications and becoming becoming a, a real developer uh, and a professional coder practice open your notebook open your android studio open a uh, take notes uh, write the codes save them and uh, run them uh, ask questions we are ready to help you whatever you want uh, comment below so we help us we help you and helping us in order to produce more and more ap uh, application to produce more and more videos and tutorials so don't be shy guys ask questions if you have any projects we can help you and these are the text view that uh, the second text view that we are going to parse it's the id underscore text but uh, uh, real, uh, in a real application we are going to parse it uh, the, the rating of the uh, users of them for the movie and the first text view for the title of the movie and this image view is the image of the movie the poster of the movie okay this is app layout constraint and to start off and to end off okay everything is working fine let's see the design okay it's having some errors here let me check the code okay here the error in the constraints i should make it uh, to end okay still having the error let's go below and the uh, bottom off it should be top top off and so it would be here as a start no maybe it's end okay let me see start here and end below okay this should work and now it works now let's run and see amazing guys this is our application so thank you guys we are proud of myself and become a, and making a professional app like this and you guys should be a, a, should be proud of yourself thank you guys see you in next courses and videos